What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Cougar 32 BHS. Now, with this new era that we're in where it seems like everybody is wanting to live in some sort of RV, whether it be a travel trailer, fifth wheel, motor home, a lot of these smaller sized fifth wheels, especially maybe that have like a bunkhouse set up in them like this one here, seem to get overlooked just because they aren't as big as the big 40, 42 foot fifth wheels. And this is something that I still think is a really, really nice model, whether people are looking to camp in something with kids or live in something with kids. And there's a lot that I really prefer about this travel trailer here. And it is under $60,000. So let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button as I upload new videos almost every single day of the week throughout the entire year and show a lot of never before seen RVs. So hit that subscribe button. And then if you didn't know, I am in a sales position. So I do not get paid by my company or by any manufacturers to make these videos. I do these on my own time in hopes of finding somebody like you that might be interested in purchasing this RV. And I would love to be a part of making that experience a memorable one for you. So you can go down to the first link down below in the description if you are interested in purchasing this RV and you can leave me your contact information through that link there so that I can get in touch with you and helping you purchase this RV. That's all I got for y'all. Let's get into the video. I'm really excited to announce that we now have 100% Spanish speaking RV tours online. Thanks to my father-in-law who now works with me, we've been making videos that are 100% in Spanish on his YouTube page. There's links down below in the description of this video to find those, or you can just search RVs Con Luis and you will be able to find those pages there. He is also in a sales position, so if you or a family member speaks Spanish and would rather work with him, he is also here to help as well in regards to purchasing your RV. And if you or a family member would like to see tours of these RVs in Spanish, you now have access to those. So search RVs Con Luis, go watch his videos there and subscribe to his channel. All right, y'all, so again, this is a 2022 Keystone Cougar 32 BHS. Now, it does say Cougar half ton on the front, this really is just because two, uh, because Cougar has two different fifth wheel lines. They have their Cougar and then the Cougar half ton. The half ton models are their more lightweight models. And there's a lot of things they do to make them more lightweight. You can see this one here is at 9,560 pounds without anything in it. Have a cargo carrying capacity of 1,379 pounds. And that's gonna give you a gross vehicle weight rating of 1,000 or 11,500 pounds there. So that means by most standards there's not going to really be a half ton truck out there that could tow this cougar fifth wheel here so this is really going to be a great option for people with a three quarter ton truck like a 250 or 2500 maybe you have a gas one and you want to do more towing in more elevated climates like in colorado with mountains or you know something like that this is going to give you a much easier towing experience it is a mid profile fifth wheel so you can see how the roof line kind of starts to slant down up front here in your front cap is more condensed than you get in a full profile fifth wheel. And then you do have your roof starting to slant down in the back. So that's gonna keep it a little bit smaller, a little bit more lightweight. There are three slide outs on this fifth wheel. We're gonna start with going inside here and start with the inside. You can see these storage drawers right when you walk in. Love these, cause these are great places to put things like maybe um, plastic ware, plastic cups, plastic plates, stuff that you wanna have quick access to from outside. Then as you look around, you can see you have two nice recliner seats here. You have your booth dinette table, and then this is all across from your kitchen here. This does also have one and a half baths. So that's something that I actually did not expect this to have the very first time I walked into this floor plan because the other half bath is in a um, non-traditional place. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. But as you go through your living area here, you can see you have your TV right here on this wall. So everybody in your living arrangement or entertainment area can see the TV. You do have an electric fireplace as well. So that will be an electric heat source. And then you have storage throughout here where you have nice big open cabinets here next to the TV. Above the TV, you have some shelving here. So you will have a shelf there. And then this TV here, this looks to be about, I want to say like maybe a 42 inch screen TV. I'm really bad with TV sizes. I really don't know to say 
exactly what size TV this is, but that looks like about what the size of this TV is. And then you have all of your sound controls down beneath it here. Going into your kitchen area, you have a nice big countertop space here all around the sink and then you should have, yeah, outlet right up there underneath there. So you can plug in different appliances here. This one does have a 200 watt solar system on it. So if you expanded to 400 watts of solar and then got an inverter installed, you can get power to these outlets with the inverted sticker inside the RV. And then you do have a light there as well. Two windows on your campsite here. So you have a window with the door and then another window there letting natural light in from this side. And then you're gonna have a split stainless steel sink. So split sink here, it does come with the sink covers. And then you have the pull down faucet with your sink there. Storage up above here, really big open cabinets and drawers that are uh, cabinets and shelves that you have there. And then more storage up above your microwave. Plus you have space up above there that you could store things as well. Even have some additional storage here above your refrigerator. So nice big space up in there. And then you do have a 12 volt refrigerator. So this is going to run off your battery. The solar panels are going to help keep your batteries charged. Plus your batteries will be charging anytime you're plugged into your vehicle as well. And you have that refrigerator here, nice big space. It's about 10 cubic feet. And looking up, you can see, first of all, in a fifth wheel, you have all this extra ceiling height up in here. It is very tall. And this is gonna be very comparable with the Cougar 34 TSB, where the Cougar 34 TSB is a travel trailer with a very similar floor plan layout. However, they take the seating and put it on this wall. And then because it's a travel trailer, they don't put a third slide out in the bedroom like this one has. This one has a slide out up in the bedroom here. They put the third slide out in the kitchen here, which gives you more of an island kitchen. So you have a little bit less floor space, but you get the island kitchen and that there is another option in a travel trailer if you want this same kind of setup, but maybe not, you lose the height of the fifth wheel, but you do get the island kitchen with the way the slide outs are arranged. So that option is available as well. Really nice recliner seats here. This is the Allure Furniture Collection. This is what is in my family's Cougar fifth wheel. So if you did not know, my family, we have a Cougar 364 BHL. It's a 2021 model. We love it. These recliners are super comfortable. You have your pull strap here in the middle. And when you pull that up, definitely positioned all right to lay those all the way flat if you're wanting to lay down there and take a nap. And then you do have heat and massage functions here with a light underneath and you have a USB connection there. Plus two cup holders. They have these little unique, I don't know how practical these things are here that you can take out to adjust the internal height of your cup holder there. Two recliners, legless dinette tables, so no legs under the dinette table. This still will collapse and make into a bed. You just move this lever here and then that will allow this to freely go up and down. And then it would just connect down onto here, onto those little black posts there to turn that into a bed. You have a woven PVC kind of outdoor rug material here in your slide out, very flexible, very durable. And then when you lift this up here, you do have a fully wrapped subflooring down underneath there with a um, astrofoil layer of insulation as well in your slide out box. So a lot of brands out there where you lift that up and you're just gonna see bare exposed wood. You do have a wrapped subfloor on this Cougar model. Outlet down underneath here as well in your dinette area. And then back or underneath your dinette, you do have storage underneath here. It's not a hinged in or anything, so it's just kind of free floating. Take that off and then you can see your storage down under here plus your dinette tables or your booth dinette it does have a wood backed um, cushion there. I don't know why it's taking me a second to think of cushion, probably because my camera was going all over the place on me, not doing what I wanted it to do. Put that back up in there, easy enough that I can do this with a camera in my hand and get that all situated there. Another big thing with the Cougar models is on your windows that you have all on your slide out box here, you have these balances that go down the window. So when you pull down your pull down blackout shades, they prevent, see all this extra light that comes in through the side there? it prevents you from being able to see that light, so it blocks that out. There's a lot of even more expensive brands out there that will not have these valances that go down the windows like you get on these Cougar models. 
And then you have the pull down blackout shades on all of these windows here. Now going back to this area, back in here you do have your bathroom. Where's the light switch for the bathroom? There it is, by the entry door. Cool. So you have your bathroom here. We're gonna step back and you do have a tub. So if you're wanting a tub, this is one of those options that has a soaking tub there that is great for kids. The added ceiling height in here are gonna give you plenty of room, plus a stainless steel shower head, but I'm gonna step up in here. And yeah, you'd have to be over seven feet tall to not fit in this shower. So plenty of room inside this shower space. Again, you have the tub, you have your storage underneath the sink, nice big open storage space. Nice big sink here. This uh, feels like a, yeah, like a thicker plastic sink there. Two shelves in the medicine cabinet, vent fan in here as well. And then you have your direct entry into the bathroom. So you can get directly into the bathroom from outside, place to hang some towels. And then you have a porcelain foot flush toilet there in the corner, kind of placed in the corner there. So you have shoulder space and leg space all the way around. Now the most exciting thing about this floor plan is got to be the bunk room because you have a ton of sleeping space in here. You have a bed right here. This is like an, a little bit of an oversized bunk. So one or even two people that are willing to sleep close to each other definitely can sleep up here. Then you have another spot here for one person, another spot here for one person. And then you do have the sofa here where first of all, this will flip up and it latches into that latch right there on both sides. Then you have a sofa back here. So if someone just wants to sit back here and hang out, you do have a sofa. You can put a little table right here. If people want to play cards or board games or whatever it may be. And then lay that down and you have another bed there. So ultimately four beds back in this space, spot for a TV on this back wall. Good ceiling height in here. The ceiling does start to go down, but there's plenty of ceiling height in this area here. Um, me being 6'2", don't feel trapped in at all. And the ceiling height back to here at the lowest point has got to be at least like 6'7", 6'8". Might be even a little bit higher. Shelving, or uh, sorry, cabinet doors all through here. So storage that's unobstructed through there. Hidden hinges as well, so you can see you don't see any of the hinges up in the cabinetry. And then down beneath here, just some shelving space underneath or not underneath behind those cabinet doors i've been filming a lot today and uh i'm starting to get all my words mixed up as i film more and more two pull out drawers here underneath this bunk bed that you have here so you'll have those two drawers those are pretty good size there and then storage to the left that is going to give you some pretty deep pockets so overall i would say there is quite a bit of storage in this bunk room and then for the length of these bunks, these are going to be your longest bunk beds right here. Let's see if I fit on these. I don't even remember if I do exactly or not. So feet are not touching the wall. Okay. This bed is almost exactly six feet, two inches long from wall to wall. So I would say if you're under six foot two, you could pretty easily and comfortably sit on here and lay all the way out. If you're over six two, you're going to have to bend your legs just a little bit. Oh, you also have these four pull-out drawers here as well. So all kinds of storage around here. And then you can see this does say a 300 pound maximum load capacity. To be honest, I think this is going to hold more than 300 pounds. Um, but it's things like just like the lip on this woodwork that they're concerned about. And, you know, don't want you falling through anywhere or anything like that. But I know I've been on some bunk beds that say they're rated for 150 pounds. I go up in them and I'm, you know, 190 pounds almost and have never had any issues with anything happening. So it's more so about how you treat things getting in and out of them than so much that weight limit sometimes. Up here, USB ports there. You have pull down blackout shade on that window as well and a nice window to see out into your campsite for whoever's sleeping right here. You also have a light right there and then back around this side. Let's see, I think there's, yeah, storage space underneath this sofa as well. So you do have some room for some storage and then this flips back up into a sofa. Pretty easy to do with just one hand there. And that's pretty much everything in this bunk space. 
Now you saw we had the bathroom right here, so we still have yet to get to the half bath. While we walk back, I also want to point out you have the residential air filter in your AC system. So that is a MERV 9 grade residential air filter in your AC. That's going to keep not only your air cleaner, but your ducting cleaner. And then you could just go to uh, Walmart or Home Depot to replace that whenever needed. Um, your standard RVs just have a little tiny black foam filter that filters out maybe pet hair at best. And that is definitely going to filter out a lot more like dust, allergens, things like that. Two speakers in the roof here as well. So you have your speakers there in the, or in the uh, ceiling, not the roof. <laughs> and you'll have your speakers in the ceiling there. And then looking at the price real quick, I just want to point this out as we're walking by here. You can see all the options on here. The MSRP on this Cougar is $80,000. 946 now if you are interested in this rv that is not the sales price that is just the msrp price our sales price on this is under sixty thousand dollars right now so this is one of the few remaining 2022s that we have left it is under sixty thousand dollars if you are interested in this fifth wheel there's a link down below in the description it's the first link that you'll see where you can send me your contact information and i would love to personally help you out in assisting you in purchasing this rv if you would like to purchase it from me i am located in dallas texas and you can also text me at the screen there or at the number on the screen there. Just keep in mind, I'm making videos. I'm also in sales, so I'm always talking to people. So I may be busy when you try to reach out to me and contact me. So if you use the link down below in the description, I'll get in touch with you as soon as I'm available. Steps going up into the bedroom. You have a grab handle here as well. And then you do have a touchscreen control panel on here. So this will connect to your phone. So everything that this does here, your phone will do as well. And then you also have tank heaters on your water tanks here so your fresh tank and your waste tank will have heaters on them so that you can keep those tanks warm while you're going down the road so those do not freeze while you're driving if you're driving in anywhere close to freezing temperatures so you do have your tank heaters on here that is definitely a more premium thing you typically only see in like the high-end full profile fifth wheels so nice to see that on all of your cougar fifth wheel models and then you have things like where you can control your AC from your phone. You can actually see the temperature of the RV from your phone. Program your ACs when you want them to start and stop, things like that. Plus your slide outs and awnings so you can control all that from outside without having to you know, yell out to your wife or significant other or friend to make sure you're not hitting any trees or anything with your awning or slide outs. Coming into here, you have a queen size bed, so a nice bed. And then I really, really love in the Cougar model, you have this two tiered nightstand setup with outlets and USB ports on each side. You're going to have some storage space here on this side and storage up here as well. Plus storage down underneath your nightstand area. This is an upgraded, more of a memory foam style mattress. Um, so it is a more premium mattress than your standard RV mattress. And then you have storage down underneath here. This mattress actually is pretty dang nice. If I recall, my parents who own the Cougar 364 BHL that my family has, They've had it for about a year and a half now, and I think they still have the same original mattress in it. And they are not like by any means, you know, they are more picky sleepers, I guess is what I'm getting at. But it's actually a pretty nice mattress. It's not bad. This is your slide out here. So you have your wardrobe closet in the slide out in the bedroom. So you can see the framed out slide out part there. This is going to be your clothing rod all through there. And plus each um, wardrobe, um, what's this? Cabinet door? I don't know what this, each wardrobe door, I guess. I don't know why I can't think of the proper word. Has a pullout drawer here as well. So that'll be your wardrobe space. And then same thing with your nightstands on this area. Lights up, um, underneath each nightstand, nightstand spot as well. Second AC in here. So you have that AC. Keep in mind, this is a, an additional option. Not all Cougar fifth wheels are ordered with a second AC on them. So that is something that we in Texas, because we are in Texas and it gets hot, we order all of ours that way with that additional equipment. Spot for a TV on the wall could easily fit at least like a 24 inch screen TV, maybe up to a 32 inch screen TV here on the wall there. And then this is where you have your really unique half bath. So you have this quick access into a bathroom from the bedroom there with this half bath. So traditionally you're used to seeing like a full bath up in here and then maybe a half bath out in the living space and they kind of reverse this and flip it to give you your half bath in the in the uh, bedroom area we got a moth in here as well a little buddy hanging out in there i don't want to like close him into the medicine cabinet now he got me into a tricky situation here there you go leave that door open so he can find his way out 
and you do have a vent fan up in the bathroom as well plus an ac ducting coming in here so no worry about any climate control in there as well and that is your bedroom oh plus you have nice big window here so you can see out to your campsite in the morning as well with a pull down blackout shade and finally spot to put wi-fi so if you want a wi-fi router installed this is where it would go right here and where you'd have that wi-fi router installed and that is everything on the inside so now let's venture outside talk about some things going on out here so first of all you're going to have a nice big awning on this cougar model so you can see it covers a large portion of this outside area here you have storage down underneath here your pass-through storage compartment aluminum framing on this rv all of your frame connections are welded on both sides of the frame now you can see there are lots of frame connections in here so lots of support pretty good size storage space through here it's not like the biggest that you'll ever see but it's still a good size space this in command panel right here this is going to have all your wiring connections for that touchscreen control panel so you can mess with any of that there if you ever need to troubleshoot anything and then outlets and connections for a tv if you want to do some sort of tv setup outside we're going to head back this way um, you will have another outlet here as well i hate when my shadow is just coming from the sun there i don't know why it bothers me it distracts me when i look down in my phone but try to ignore that um, come down underneath here you're going to have this road armor suspension so this is going to give you six inches of travel three inches up and three inches down and you can see with the graphic on the screen here this is going to be one of the best suspension systems you can get coming out of the factory for mitigating shakiness and rattling inside your rv as you go up and down the road so a more premium suspension system there coming standard Two outdoor speakers here as well plus this is your vent there when you're cooking that fan that you turn on over or underneath the microwave will vent air out from your trailer now look at this this is pretty dang spectacular this is a huge outdoor kitchen here absolutely amazing space that you get you have the pull-out grill so you have a nice big pull-out grill there and then you have a ton of countertop space for an outdoor kitchen and a sink if you've ever talked to me in person or seen enough of my videos, you know that I believe a sink is the most practical thing you can get in an outdoor kitchen because to be honest, my family, we don't really use our outdoor kitchen on our Cougar 364 BHO. Our grill literally still has the plastic on it. It's a year and a half old and we have never taken the plastic off the grill. And we put a couple drinks in the refrigerator, but that's really it. And other than that, we just plug in some stuff in the outlets and it's not a whole lot else to it. The sink, however, I would love to have and we don't have because this would be nice to be able to rinse things off from outside, rinse off utensils, rinse out cups, wash your hands, things like that real quick without having to run inside the trailer. So I do really appreciate that they have a sink on here. And as you keep coming back, you do have prep for a backup camera. Plus all your Cougar models have your LED reverse lights and you do have, or sorry, LED brake lights and then you do have a reverse light built in there as well so that added extra safety feature this is going to be an accessory hitch down here so it's not meant for towing but you can put up to 300 pounds on that hitch for added accessories if you would like to do that as well ladder to get up onto the roof and then you can see you have your three slide outs on this side so two here and then one more up in the bedroom area these two here are going to be cable driven slide outs so they're going to push and pull from all four corners evenly at the same time so this slide out goes in and out evenly each time two acs up on the roof they are white so you have white acs up there they're their coleman mock q series acs so they are going to be very quiet and then you can see your 200 watt solar panel up here as well um, down underneath here you can see you have i see labels for black and gray tank so it looks like oh yeah your black and gray tank here from your full restroom dump out right there and then you also can see you have a spot on the back bumper to store your sewer hose with that tube back there. Also have a fully enclosed underbelly so all your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation in this underbelly in the same cavity as your furnace ducting. So anytime your furnace is on that is also going to keep your water tanks and water lines warm. Plus you have the 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks and water lines as well. And then because this is a bath and a half and they're on separate sides of the trailer you're going to have another dump valve right here for black and gray tanks that will come into this spot right here your smaller slide out box is going to have a schwintech slide out mechanism so that's a nice small slide out box there doesn't add too much weight to the trailer all your water connections are down underneath this compartment 
So everything as far as your water will come from here. You have this spot where your um, hoses can feed up through the bottom so you can keep this door closed. And then in here you have all of your solar equipment. So your solar charge controller right here that is working with your solar panel and your batteries to keep your batteries charged. And then it does come with an app that you can download that will give you all the information on how much power your solar panel is drawing, how long till your batteries are charged, things like that. Auto leveling controls, this fifth wheel does have auto leveling on it. So you will control that from here. And then if you wanted to expand upon the solar system and add an inverter to power outlets inside the RV, it is prepped to add an inverter to expand upon your solar capabilities. Going to have a uh, 30 pound propane bottle on each side here. So one on this side, one on the other side. And then also like to point out like underneath your slide out box here, pretty dang solid. And then it does have like this framed out piece right here. So it looks nice and finished there as well. Just little details like that. Docking lights up front. So you have these amber LED lights plus up there over the top. And then you do have a um, LED puck light right here to shine down onto your pin box. This is a road armor pin box. This will connect to your fifth wheel hitch. And this has a big thick rubber bushing here that is going to rotate back and forth as you brake and accelerate to absorb a lot of that chucking that we call it when this rattles back and forth in your fifth wheel, helping that become a more comfortable experience for you. You also have the patented hitch vision plate. So as you're backing up towards your pin box, you can see a little bit better how your hitch is lining up with your pin box. And then down underneath here, you have compartment for your batteries. You have your spare tire down underneath here. And that's pretty much it down in this space. And that is pretty much everything. All right, that's all I got for y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, I would love to personally help you out in assisting you in making it yours. So you can go down to the first link down below in the description of this video, or you can text me at the number on the screen there, somewhere up there. I would love to personally help you out in making this RV yours. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see y'all camping.